The Cosmic Portal welcomes you. And please, subscribe for more. Hello everybody, Calibus Ran here with Katala, the Cosmic Portal uh, media coordinator. Uh, she does such an excellent job. We're here to tell you today about a few things, but first, I believe Katala has... And I'm just sending a shout out to my daughter, Tasha, wishing her a happy birthday, so... Hope you have a wonderful year ahead. And I miss you. That's nice. So, guys, what are we talking about today? Well, I mean, we might as well get into it. First of all, let me say this. Um, December 21st is a hard time for me. That is the day that I found out that Gore passed. And, uh, you know, uh, four days later, it's Christmas. You know, you don't really kind of feel that that energy. Um, it was the first time that uh, I had significantly suffered a loss and uh, it took a toll. It took a toll. But uh, Katala decided to do something for me, and I wanted to show it off to you guys today. And there it is. If I can get that in there. All right. And will it do it? Do it. There it is. Yes. Remember the fallen true aim. And on the back, it is in Arabish. So I'll be carrying this with me everywhere I go. This will be my thing. So let's get on with some good news. We had the birthday announcement, and happy birthday to her. Uh, the announcement on the 21st that we'll be doing a tribute show to Gore. And uh, we'll be having people from the 757. And uh, I'm going to try to get Jim from Yester Toys to pop in and say a few words. But uh, it'll be a tribute to that. Um, upcoming next. Big L and I will be getting together later today to tell you about the toy drive. It is scheduled for this weekend. We'll have more on that then. But this Thursday. This Thursday at 8.30, correct, Katala? Yes. 8.30 this Thursday, the Matriarchs of Fandom come back, and they will be joined by Anita from Bella, Tom Vivian. Bella and one other lady. So you have the con aspect of what we're going to be at, because we will be at Con Vivian, um, January 12th through the 14th. The Cosmic Portals coming out party. We're going to be, you know, uh, there broadcasting. We're going to have a couple of giveaways. We're going to have more than a couple of giveaways. Now that I think about it, to be honest with you guys, we're going to have a bunch of giveaways. <laughs> um, it's what we do. So we're going to be having uh, a lightsaber giveaway. We're going to be having a Star Trek giveaway. We're going to be having all kinds of other little things that we will be giving away at Con Vivio. So, this Thursday, 8.30, Matriarchs of Fandom. Should be a wonderful time. Um, what else? What else? Priory of the Phoenix. I am... Uh, is that Taco Cat? Yeah, that's Taco Cat. I am very proud of this group. Um, we had to have a big push for this. 
because it wasn't doing well before. We went from, I believe it was like 32 to 39 members in two weeks to 213 members. Um, <laughs> this is, of course, our Mando group. This Mando group is uh, in culture, almost like the um, Priory of the Fiend. I mean, almost like uh, the Proud Warriors of Kronos, except for here we also do the whole uh, cosplay thing. So with this group, it is a, you know, Mandalorian cultural celebration, not more information like Proud Warriors of Kronos. And this one does cosplay. So um, Priory of the Phoenix, we're on Facebook. It is a private group, but you can, you know, if you find us, you can try to get invited in and we can see what we can do to get you in here. Um, it's just the love of the Mandalorian people. Um, and of course, we cosplay. So, so that is awesome. Now, with that being said, we got to talk about the other group since we're here. Revamped, re envisioned. Boom. Defense Outpost United, formerly Star Trek United, has um, 22 members currently. We're a tight knit group. Um, this group is a fan page. So it is more of a role-playing page, so no one gets it twisted. Um, we have a storyline going on. You can join the page. If you want to join the page and you like Star Trek and you like, I guess, uh, a storyline with the characters and everything else, you start off by joining the page as a crewman. And if you want to participate, you can get a rank and participate here. Uh, Katala is my first officer. Good afternoon to you, whoever you are. Uh, <laughs> I love how people do that. Um, last night we were making videos and stuff for it, uh, for the pages. And I came across this quote. This is one of my favorite quotes. Uh, it's redemption. Uh, season four, episode 26, and it's Galron talking to Worf, and he's like, uh, do you tremble and quake with fear at the approach of combat? And then you hear the Klingon theme playing in the background, right? Hoping to talk your way out of the fight like a human, or do you hear the cry of the warrior calling you into battle, calling you into glory? like a Klingon. That saying alone, if you're Klingon, oh, it's, <laughs> look, it's Miss Liz. Hey, Miss Liz, if you're Klingon, that, 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 should, that should do something for you right there. That quote is something that I've always loved during my um, extensive, extensive um, Star Trek uh, pedigree as far as these groups go from Starfleet International to um, the Federation to IKF. I am still a member of CAG. I am still a member of the Federation. Um, and this is my little safe space, this, this group right here. Um, totally ran um, by me and a few of the admins here, um, Robert Galley. Uh, is uh, my Klingon source there, and he's got many of years in the Star Trek uh, community as well. So if you guys like a good storyline and you want something to do, Star Trek uh, Defense Post, out, Defense Outpost United is for you. You can be on the page. If you just want to be a crewman in Wall Watch, you can. If you want to join in and help with the storyline, you'll get a rank, you know, and you follow the rules and you'll be good. So, with that being said, we've mentioned the, the main things of what we've been doing. And let me mention this one more page because I believe Miss Katala has decided to do something. Let's see, there it is. 
want to poke put this up. Okay, there we go. All right. The Proud Warriors of Kronos. 823 members. This is your Klingon information page. This is not a this is not like a uh, a specific club or anything else, but this is a Klingon information page. Miss Katala. Some of, us, some of us cosplay too though, so <laughs> yeah, but that's not again, that's yeah. not yeah. that's not the page. I mean, I mean a lot of the Klingons here cosplay, but this page is not a cosplaying page, is what I'm saying. It's information. Yes. It's all on the cultural aspects of being Klingon. This page is for all Klingons. We don't care if you're with CAG. We don't care if you're with the IKF. We don't care if you're with the IKE. And the sad thing is a lot of these other, except for CAG, CAG will, but a lot of the other Klingon groups are so xenophobic, which is sad. Because if we were all sharing in a good community, we could definitely be a rival for the 501st. Klingon-wise. Yes. I don't know about the Federation stuff because they seem a little kind of off kilter myself uh, to my to me myself. But Klingon wise, if we all bended together, we could be as big as the 501st. I do not I do not kid. But the Klingons are in pockets, isolated pockets, fighting each other. Again, except for CAG. CAG welcomes everybody. And that's one of the things that I love about CAG. But the other groups, they don't really want to do anything else. Now we do have the uh IKF Battle Recovery Group, and they do a wonderful job. They're open to all Klingons. They really um, want to help as far as anything is at they at they that they can. Excuse me, this morning I seem to be a little tongue tied or this afternoon, but anyway, Miss Katala runs this page. Katala runs this page. This is um, Proud Warriors of Kronos. It again Klingon information. That's what this is about. Um, Dark Moon Fleet has an announcement up here on the page. So, again, this page is open to all Klingons. We don't care where you come from, okay? But please don't mistake this as a, this is a special club sitting here off on its own little thing. It's a, no, it's an information page. Just behave. It is an information page. So Katala posts up here daily. Um, there's a lot of good stuff. And if you haven't note, if you haven't seen this, guys, we've had JG Hertzler up here three times. <laughs> three times. Look, I don't know where the other one's at, though. I have to put it up there. I have to find it. Put it up there. We've had him up here three times. Um He's got a book out too, a new book that's available. Hold on. Pop you up there. There it is. I am the danger. I love that shirt. I love that shirt. So, guys, if we'll put a link in the Proud Warriors of Kronos for his book. Again, uh, the general. <laughs> as he likes to be called the general um uh has graces with his presence a couple of times three times and is a pleasure to have on the show um he's vowed to come back on the show uh sometime soon to do another uh another show with us um it is just a great honor to be able to have some of these people on here now katala who else have we had here, thanks to the Proud Warriors of Kronos? Uh, Dennis Madalone, who was a stunt coordinator and also appeared on DS9 and Next Generation. There was Chester Tripp III and his wife. They've both done stunts. I think Chester Tripp has been on DS9. And we're look, we're, we'll have some more. <laughs> and we also had... Uh, Keith DeCandido on. He wrote the, he's done a lot of Star Trek things and he also wrote the Klingon Art of War, which is a good book, and he will be at the convention in January. Yeah, and the, the, the funny thing about him, the 
The funny thing about sorry about that. The funny thing about him is that he does a lot of other stuff, which was, I mean, just awesome. Um, Batman DC, a lot of like uh fantasy sci-fi stuff too, as well as the Klingon stuff. So it was um definitely a thing to have him on the show and to hear about his process and how he wants to do. And then Miss Liz says, you know, I'm going to want to have that book. <laughs> so guys, um, we're going to, uh, be at the convention January 12th to the 14th. We also have a, other, a lot of other things going on. We're revamping the videos for the shows, getting everything together. Uh, please bear with us as we go through this. But this Thursday at 8.30, the Matriarchs will be back with the panel from Convivial because the Matriarchs have their first convention panel. Two. Okay. Yeah. Two conventions, I mean two panels, but this is their first, their first in a you know a studio audience type thing. So this is going to be great. And then of course, um there's a Klingon like said, one -on one panel. <laughs> yes, there's a Klingon one-on-one -on -one panel, and uh we'll be broadcasting live there from uh from Convivial, uh from the table, maybe from even the rooms, maybe showing you a little bit of the after party because we're all gonna be getting together having a great time there. So with that being said, Katala, is there anything else? Just stay safe out there and keep your bat left handy. Never leave home without it. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, 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 look, look, because ladies rock. <laughs> Lady Gray. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, and there's Miss Liz. It's going to be fun. It is going to be a blast. You know, um, Katala and I are still working on a few things. We're, we're hoping to do something else a little bit special, but uh, I have some things that I'm going to make uh, done there, and I think it's going to be a great time. I just think it's going to be a wonderful time. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, 830, Matriarchs, talking with Convivial as we go into the new year. Um New props, new stuff, new giveaways. I cannot, you know what? I can't wait to have another good giveaway. But I think this time around, we're going to do something a little bit universal. We we did a lot of Star Wars and Star Trek. I think this time we're going to do some maybe some Harry Potter. I want to do something different. Because I have a one we can give away. <laughs> so one of the first things, you know what? We might take this to the convention and give it away. think that you know let me know in the comments below do you think we should give away a harry potter wand when we go to the convention let me know leave it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do all right guys with that being said we've taken up enough of your time i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day please stay safe out there and remember to check your anger and check your yourself because one minute of you breathing and walking away could save you a lifetime of heartache. A lifetime of heartache. Because I know things are rough out there. Look, <laughs> Miss Liz is like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Taco Cat says it's a good idea. Miss Liz says yes. So I, I guess maybe we will do that. We'll give away the Harry Potter wand at the convention as well. I think that'll be a thing. I think that'll be good. So again, guys, have a great day. Uh as I'll leave you with what I always leave you with. Follow the creed and trust in the force. And of course, Katala. Kapla. Kapla. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell and thanks.